1967 Mustang, one of the true icons of the muscle car era. Here at Classic Design Concepts, we're bringing it back to life. I'm Eric Tritko with Power TV. Welcome to Project Flashback. We're back at Classic Design Concepts, taking a look right now at our full reproduction 1967 Mustang. This thing is beautiful. Last time we were here, it had just come back from paint, and the interior was beginning to be mocked up. Now, it's completely done. The interior is fully installed. The paint has been buffed out and shined, all the chrome applied. All the parts that have made this thing possible to be a full reproduction are here. It's ready to roll. The biggest challenge was timing. We were, we were under a deadline. We had to. Uh, we came up with the idea to do this as a SEMA vehicle, which left us probably two months extra. And then Ford, we were doing this for Ford Motor Company's booth, and they wanted um, photography and magazine coverage before SEMA, so we had to kick back another two months. So that's that was the big challenge. On behalf of the entire build team, the satisfaction of seeing the vehicle completed uh, was a tremendous relief on one hand and, uh, and a tremendous source of pride. I think the, the real excitement was after they saw the vehicle come back painted, uh, the quality of that paint job, quality surface, um, I think they got everybody very, uh, very excited. Engine and transmission mounts have been fabricated. The powertrain is installed in our modified reproduction 67 Mustang, along with our new front suspension, modern brakes, and six piston calipers. The modified reproduction flashback model compared to the original 1967 Mustang has uh, only complemented that original design further and modernized it. It's uh, very apparent when you first look at the vehicle, absence of a, of a chrome bumper, and uh, it's been replaced with front, front and rear fascias. Just brought it up, up to date, and uh, it hasn't violated the intent of the original design of the vehicle. We decided to go with the um, 5.4 supercharged motor because a couple of different factors. One, it's, a, it's an OE engine that is completely off the shelf and it's got all the factory durability. The best part about it is it's got the wow factor. It's, it's big. It looks, it fills the whole engine compartment and uh, has all the, the, the potential of building big horsepower. The interior I'm very excited about. We kept all the, the typical cues of a 60 67, 68 Mustang, and kind of enhanced it, and added some uh, nice black leather, and it made, basically made the whole interior more modular, so there's a lot less pieces, and one of the fits and finishes of what you'd expect in a car today, um, added some amenities like power windows and the uh, tilt wheel and stuff like that. As we take a closer look here at Project Flashback in our modified reproduction Mustang, even from the front you can see it's just a little bit different. A cleaned up front fascia to give it a bit more modern appearance, a taller hood so that we can fit that supercharged 5.4 motor underneath it. Over 600 horsepower going to be available at your right foot. It's, it's kind of hard to believe that the entire car was completely reproduction. Um, you look back at it and most people wouldn't really notice. Actually, it'd be hard pressed to tell anybody that it wasn't a real car. I think once we unveil this thing, it seems there's going to be a lot of people hard pressed to believe that this was really a completely reproduction vehicle. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Project Flashback. Thanks for joining us here on Power TV as we made our way through this entire thing. An eight-week build going down to the wire. Remember, this modified reproduction Mustang is going to be for sale here very soon. But before you get to drive it, I get to drive it first. <laughs>